I tell you, like, every fucking Saiyan, like, how quickly do they learn how to fight? Or even, like, at this point, go, like, fucking Saiyan, Super Saiyan, any of that bullshit. I'm telling you, Pan at this point, where she is right now, I, I, like, I'm telling you, by the time she has a kid or anything like that, and we get a great grandchild of Goku, the second that thing comes out of the womb, that thing is coming out Super Saiyan 3 or something, because Jesus Christ. She's like, what? Like, one? Like, I don't even think she's like, one yet. And she's like, oh, yeah, I've already got fucking, I can fly. I seem like I can beat the shit out of it. Like, oh, oh, my God. So, this episode of Dragon Ball Super, or as pretty much, like, the most of the episode felt like a Pokemon, like, like, from what we saw, like, James, Jesse and James and Meowth coming around with Pilar. Thinking, like, hey, we're gonna, like, we're gonna do some evil shit to, like, Goku do all that wreck his shit up because... Apparently, like, what has happened, since he overused the Kaioken Super Saiyan God, like, a, like combo that he did, his whole key is in influx, and he's got a very weird condition where he's, like, he can't control his key at the moment, he can't fly properly, he can't, like, do, like, instant transmission, uh, to a point where he was transported into Bulma and Vegeta's bedroom. Bulma's coming out flat out naked, and he's like, I don't want to see them saggy tits. I'm like... Vegeta was now about to get his groove on. A literal semi has just been ruined because Goku's there like, Oi! Oh, like, it's just like, what the fuck? And what was with all those death lasers everywhere? Like, just gonna... Although there was a nice reference on that for the people that really like Dr. Slump, is that Arale was here at one point of the episode. So that was actually a really nice thing. I personally haven't seen Dr. Slump, but I definitely know, like, a little bit about, like, Arale from, like, J-Stars and from, just from a little bit here and there from what I've heard about her. So, I mean, it wasn't, like, this bit, like, I remember when people were saying, like, oh my god, Arale is appearing in the anime. I wasn't really expecting, like, it, like anything like, oh, let's have this crossover episode or anything like that. But it was like, that was a nice little touch. I think it was a kind of, like, I don't know why she was, like, poking some shit, though, with a smiley face on it. I don't know what the fuck that's all about. It's just like, yeah, I guess, like, ch child, like, cyborgs, whatever the fuck she is, just does that. It's just, eh, just gonna, like, but, like, I don't know. Like, I know, like, either Arale's a cyborg or she's a robot. I'm pretty sure that she's a robot, like, that she's, like, super, like, powerful or, like, an android. I don't fucking know, but it's like, when you got, like, she's just there, like, oh, I'm gonna poke some shit. And you got Goku there, like, just teleporting to everyone. It's like, you already ruined Vegeta's mojo. He was now about to tap that, you know, maybe make a little bit more, like, another kid or something. I, like, literal bra was now about to be born at that point. But, no, Goku literally ruined that nut busting. So, you know, congratulations on that part. And it's like, oh, you just can't use the powers at both for a long while. But he's like, oh, but the tournament's happening, though. Like, I need to, like, get training. And it's like, no, how about you act like a normal human being for once? And I thought, like, it would have been a little bit more interesting. And kind of a really low blow is, like, when he went to, like, Gohan's house to look after, like, Pan and Piccolo was there. And he was, like, like he was talking to Piccolo about it. And he's like, even in this, like, condition, you can beat me. And I'm like, is that supposed to be a shot or something? Like... Why did all Dragon Ball characters suddenly just accept, like, oh, yeah, we're not gonna really, we know we can't beat Goku Vegeta anymore, yeah, it's fine, like, I don't know, like, when you start looking at Z, it felt like they were still thriving, they were still trying to catch up to them, even though you knew that they were stronger, it was like, I don't know, like, Piccolo at this point is like, man, you would just become a bitch now, because you're there babysitting Pan, and he's like, no, you got she likes broccoli, so you gotta do it finally, shot, I'm like, mate, you ain't Soma. You ain't fucking, like, you ain't doing this Shokugeki no Soma shit around here, doing with all that. I'm like, these motherfuckers, like, although I guess it's a nice little thing, it's like, oh, I raised Gohan, so I'm gonna also as well help raise, like, you know, like, his child as well, which... For the most part, what he was doing is like, oh, I'm going to get this big offer from this giant university professor. But, like, at the end, of the day, he was like, oh, I'm going to turn it down because, basically, I wouldn't get the time to spend with my family. Wouldn't be able to do all this shit. And it ended up where, like, Pilaf and his, like, bucket of misfits come around and they accidentally go and try and peace out. They take Pan. The whole machine goes fucking wrong. Starts taking them to space. Pan somehow activates her key and is able to fly and survive in space and I'm like wow and apparently she's already done this before it's like oh she's disappeared a couple of times and everyone keeps thinking like oh she's like sleeping in the closet or something or like she's hiding somewhere it's like no she's been out on these fucking adventures but then it was all okay because like in the end of the episode like she slightly said like grandpa and it's like oh everyone's like oh look at her like that Say, you say, like, Grandpa after all this time. It was like, I don't know, that was kind of sweet, but 
I felt like it could have been a more than interesting episode, like, on, for the most part, if it was, like, Goku trying to save, like, uh, like Pan is, like, but trying to do it without using his powers. Like, I think that would have been an interesting little, like, scenario. It's like, Goku, for once, is, like, gotta try and, like, do this, sort out a problem without being, you know, the big, strong guy of, like, the series. I mean, he's Dragon Ball at the fucking end of the day, so he wasn't expecting, like, this big, like, oh my god, like, how, like, this is this how I feel like now, and I can see how Yamcha feels now. It's like, I think either a half or he would beat the dog shell <laughs> Yamcha. I mean, he beat him when he was fucking hungry, so it's like, I'm pretty sure he would have fucking murdered that guy but it's like well the episode like i mean they'll i was chuckling at parts especially at the bomber part of the episode and like I, like the whole pan thing to me is just like oh my god that's so fucking stupid like <laughs> like already being able to do it i'm telling you by the time like she has like go like if they're like goku jr from gt and all that he must have just flew out the womb like super saiyan or something that, that's that's probably what's happened like at the end of gt like that because the same blood has been mixed so much into the system now it's like this is how fuckers are these days. Oh, like, uh, honestly, like, the, the episode itself, it was like, it, you could definitely tell it was super filler. Like, you could, sc it was screaming, we need an episode or something to think about this arc with this whole, like, trunk stuff going on. So let us do that. Uh, let's think about, you know, exactly what's going to be happening. And meanwhile, we'll have this goofy episode about Pan going into space. I had some funny moments, but I wasn't, like, engrossed in the episode at all, like, you know, like, I was like, I got a chuckle, but that was it, so overall, I hit it, like, a five, like, it was average, really, but I was like, I felt like, for the most part, am I watching a Pokemon episode at this point, like, what, what the fuck is this, like, <laughs> this big giant mech and going into space and stuff, but, you know, there were some cute moments here and there with Pan, I, I, I thought that was really funny, and just Piccolo, Man, like, what the fuck's happened? You, you, like, you got pussy whipped so bad, like, now. Like, you just do anything for anyone, like, now. So, overall, that's my thoughts on the episode. Let me know what you think. Do you enjoy that Pan's probably going to turn into Broly at this point? Because I'm pretty sure by her second birthday, she's probably going to look like Broly at that point. But that's all for me. So, thank you much for watching, as always. And I'll see you guys next time.